Alright, so here we go. This game, uh, Dead Space, it finally is coming around the corner. It seems that this game is beyond our time. I was freaking breathtaking when this game, like, just dropped, you know, the trailer? Like, the teaser? Um, I cannot believe... Part of me wants to cry, but a nostalgia part of me wants to scream, you know? I mean, something tells me this shit is crazy. It, it sort of feels surreal, you know? Um, I cannot believe I'm actually finally covering this after so long. I mean, I got messages about this game asking me if we're covering it. The taste of this game is just insane. I mean, one of the things I didn't honestly think I'd be sitting here covering is Dead Space, like nine years later. It sort of feels like Resident Evil, but this time it's EA. Uh, it's not even the same people freaking making it, so I, I don't know how I feel about that. I mean, I'm going to be honest. I'm a little skeptical about how this will turn out, but yeah. <laughs> I, I don't know, man. This could turn out either good or bad. It depends how, like, the... EA wants to do this. I mean, they could honestly, like, fuck it up. But, I mean, I don't know. It just feels like I want to trust them. But it's not even the same people making it as the first ones, you know? Like, the franchises came so far. Yet I, I don't want to get butchered, you know? So, if the series is, like... If it tends to be better this time around, then I, I won't have a thing, a problem around it, you know? But the monetization, I don't think it's going to be there because EA doesn't like to really put overly gory stuff um, on display <laughs> on their unit. But, I mean, man, I'm just a little worried. I'm, I'm skeptical, but a little worried as well. I mean, my favorite boss fight of all time is like the Tormentor boss, you know, from uh, Dead Space 2. That was an insane boss fight. I actually talked about it in my last video. Um, Dead Space 2, insane game. Uh, Dead Space 3, I wasn't, mm, it, it wasn't all there, man. Dead Space, the first one, was just, it, it was pretty cool. I mean, aside the fact that I knew what was coming, it, it was, it was alright, it was good. But, I mean, we're talking about the same company that makes Battlefield, man, and like FIFA, you know? Um, I don't know if this is their departure or not. I don't know if they got, like, made to do this. But, I don't know, it just doesn't feel like their type of game, you know? I mean, Battlefield, it, yeah, it's got some gore in it, but not as much as Dead Space. And I feel like that's one of the problems, is that the uh, monetization unit, it won't be there, fam. <laughs> I mean, the game probably won't even, like, live up to its expectations. And, I mean, the entirely, the entirety of the entire game is supposed to be that it's supposed to be a gory like, type of just weird-ass game concept for the people to play. And I don't think EA is going to understand that part of it. I mean, I might be a little bit overthinking this, you know? And I'm a little bit tired. It's like, I'm writing this at 3 o'clock in the morning, fam. And yeah, I, wrote, I write scripts for, like, speculation videos and stuff and talking about what I want because uh, <laughs> I'm not very good at uh, just... You know, this is not part of the script, but I'm not very good at doing these types of videos myself. For the gaming videos, it's just like I sort of am there. I can do it, you know, without the script. But in these types of videos, like the uh, talking about it, just staring at a wall, talking into a mic. I mean, it's not like it's out of my comfort zone, you know, like I don't, I don't really do these types of things a lot. But I mean, I hope. That you guys understand why I'm doing this, fam. I just... I, I don't know. I feel like I'm going to need two videos to, like, space it out. Uh, across two 20-minute videos. I feel like that's pretty suitable for Dead Space. I mean, the game overall, its impact is just there. You know, it's supposed to be. But I feel like they're not going to get this right. I feel like they're going to butcher it. I really don't want that for Dead Space. I mean, I love these games, you know? I grew up with them. <laughs> I played every single one of them. One, typically amazing. Two, absolutely phenomenal game. Th that, that game was just insane. <laughs> totally beyond me. Three, I haven't really got an opinion for you, you know? It, it was pretty good, but it wasn't anything like number two or number one, you know? So, I'm just trying to think. 
I'm just trying to get it right here, man. I'm just trying to see how EA would see it, you know? But I don't feel like they're going to get it right. Honestly. <laughs> I mean, it could go either way. And I feel like that's sort of what's the problem here. Is that... Okay, so don't get me wrong. The first five minutes of this video has just been me talking about how EA is going to get this wrong. But I feel like... I have faith in them, you know? I have faith in EA to get this right. But it's not going to work. Honestly, it's just, it's not going to work. I mean, the types of games they work on is like FIFA and stuff. And yeah, after seeing that trailer, after seeing that teaser, it looks really good, man. I got so much faith in it. Yet, I don't know, man, because it's EA. And I spoke to my friend, Tevya. Uh, and he said, actually, that this game, he doesn't think it's going to, like, portray it very well, like the original Dead Space. But, I mean, I'm, I'm kind of skeptical. I'm 50-50 I'm on this one, fam. I'm never normally 50-50 on games. I normally have my own opinion. But, honestly, I mean, it's not half wrong. I mean, look at what EA has published in the past. It's like, they don't really go for really gory games. So, for them to publish Dead Space, I don't know, fam. I don't know. It's like, it's as we see in the trailer. As we see in the teaser, they're trying to go for a more gory concept. I just don't think they can pull Dead Space off. It might just be me. But, honestly, I feel like a lot of people feel that way. I've seen loads of videos online of just people speaking about this shit going on. About how EA's not going to do this right. I have some type... Of like tip, typical to typical faith in them and stuff, but that's not gonna work. <laughs> I mean, me having faith in them isn't enough for them to get it right, you know. Uh, it's like a lot of YouTubers say, and I've, I mean, I've watched a lot of these videos to get ready for mine, you know, because as I say, I'm not good at just talking into a microphone for like hours, you know, hours on end, but I am pretty good. At uh, playing video games and stuff. And I can talk freely when I'm playing video games. It's just like... When I'm doing this shit... It's... It's so typically hard, you know? I wrote one page just so that I knew what to say. But I'm not even using that page anymore. I'm just going by myself. <laughs> you know? And it's actually kind of working out. But then and again... I'm, I haven't had sleep in like 38 hours. So it's not... It's not helping me. <laughs> None of the fact is, like, helping me, you know? But, I mean, I feel like they could pull it off. I just don't want them to butcher the franchise, fam. So, don't get me wrong, alright? So, it's time to talk about something different. Not just EA, just... <laughs> mess with the dead space. But I don't think they will. But I just want to be skeptical here and there about it. I don't want to really... I don't really want to take my own opinion for it. I mean, that's what videos are supposed to do, you know? They're supposed to take your own opinion and stuff, but... I mean, I, I just want to see other people's light as well for the game. And I mean, a lot of people aren't wrong. Looking at the games that EA has published in the past is... Way beyond them, man. To publish a Dead Space game, I, I don't know. <laughs> it kind of feels like they're going to do well, but there's going to be a lot of people that hate it, and a lot of people that like it. Me, personally, I'll probably like it. Because I like Resident Evil, and that's the sort of type that they're going for this game. Um, I think maybe... Oh, man, I, I don't know. Isaac is back, though. Isaac is back. That's really awesome. I've had, like, the same icon for, like, ever now, you know? I've been on YouTube for, like, six, five months. I don't know. But I've had the same icon forever, you know? I changed it once, but that's because I was considering becoming a Resident Evil channel. Thank God I didn't. But, <laughs> yeah, um, I've had the same icon for how long, you know? I, I, I can't remember the last time that I didn't have this icon of Isaac just looking to the right. It's, it's so cool to see a new Dead Space game in the works. I just hope they don't butcher it, fam. Um, <laughs> yeah, that, that icon has been there for a long time, man. Probably will stay there for a long time as well. I, I mean, until I get, like, properly properly big on this website then it will probably stay that way for like 10 years or something i don't know just something stupid but yeah <laughs> after a long 10 years i'll probably change it or something I, I don't know just 
I want to keep it though because it sort of represents who I am. I mean, Slick Knight, Isaac is sort of a knight, right? He, I, I've always seen him as like a bit of a knight in Shining Armor sort of thing. I don't know, that's just how I get when I play Dead Space. Is that I hope this game doesn't butcher the franchise because I really love it. I honestly do. I can't remember the last time I didn't love Dead Space, you know? It's just... I've always loved the games. So, just... I hope this game is great. I hope it has a lot to do with the first one. Um, I hope it's... I mean, people, people are saying it's a remake, right? I feel like it's entirely a reboot. It's not even a remake anymore. Which is just... Kind of sucks. But then again, it's just like... Uh, what can you do, fam? It's not even the same people publishing it as I keep saying. I suppose that all they really want to do is like... Just make the first three games into one big game. <laughs> That's sort of what I get from it. The graphics are going to be revamped like crazy. Like, I mean, from the... From the last game that we had, I think it was like 2011, 2012. Or something. I don't know. I know that Dead Space 2 was 2010, right? Uh, so... I feel like Dead Space 3 was like 2011, 2012. I think, I think it was 2012, actually. Yeah, I mean, I'm just surprised. You know, graphics-wise, it will probably be like Resident Evil. <laughs> I feel like that's what I'm getting from this. Um, I haven't heard anything about it being third or first person. So, the category is just... It's, it's all messed up, fam. I just don't know anymore. <laughs> you know, I'm just trying to... I'm trying to come up with ideas how this could go. But I honestly don't know anymore, man. I just... I hope this game is, like, amazing, you know? I hope it doesn't butcher the franchise or anything. I just... I want a really good, just, reboot of Dead Space. That would just be... That'd be fantastic, man. And because we're waiting so long as well... I mean, this game's supposed to, like, come out in, like, 2023, right? So, because we're waiting so long... This could be really interesting to see. I don't know how many people are actually really, really looking forward to this, but I'm one of them, man. Um, yeah, I'm I'm one of them. I'm one of the people who are just waiting down, counting down the days until this game comes out. Because as I say, I've always been a massive fan of Dead Space. I've always loved the games and stuff. I actually remember, funny story. Um... A lot of the games, at first when I was younger, I, I went into the store and I went to go and pick up just like some groceries and stuff, you know. It's like, it, it's kind of funny though, because I went into the video game section because I had an Xbox 360 back then, you know, like the good old days. And um, I went into the grocery store and basically they had a video game section and Dead Space was in there, like the original first one. And I asked for it. I begged and pleaded for it. I got it. I went home. I played a little bit of it. And I was just like, holy shit, I need to buy the second one. So I went back. I bought the second one. And I played the hell out of that as well. And then I played the third one. And then everything just went sort of downhill from there. So I hope it's not like the third one. It, I mean, if it's anything like the third one, then it will probably butcher the franchise, man. I mean, it, the third one wasn't even that bad. But if it's anything like the third one and all the changes as well, then I don't know, fam. <laughs> I honestly don't know. I don't know how to feel about it, man. It's just like, um, man, it, it's so weird, though. Since when do you see a video game section in a freaking grocery store? Like, what? Are we living in the same world? <laughs> what? Yo, that's kind of crazy, though. I mean, that's just like... That's just my story, though. I mean, a lot of people have probably got different stories out there that they want to tell. And uh, feel free, actually. Feel free. There's a comment section down below. I don't take off the comments or anything. I don't delete any comments, so feel free. Um, but yeah. Honestly, man. Just... It's so crazy. How, how we're seeing this and how this is getting published again. It's just beyond me, fam. I can't believe how we're getting another Dead Space. I mean... How time flies. How time honestly flies. I just, I can't wait. I honestly cannot wait.
Don't forget as well that this is like a horror game. So my heart, when I was a kid, it was always beating, you know, like really fast. Like it was a rapid pace from playing this game, but I loved it. I love the thrill of just Dead Space overall, man. Whenever I play it, I get the same kind of thrill every time I play it. And I walk away, I'm just like, wow, wow, what a game, you know. The second one, though, is just beyond me, you know. The first one was very, like, horror-driven and stuff. There was a lot of elements of horror and stuff. The second one, I don't know, it kind of got a bit cheesy there here and there. But the game was, like, it's the best Dead Space, in my opinion. And you already know why. You already know why. The gore factor was up there. The Tormentor boss, my favorite boss of all time in any video game. <laughs> I just want to point that out. That, that cinematic, like, just Isaac across the floor, just fucking shit up everywhere, man. It's just like, I'm so blown away by the fact that we are getting a reboot of this. I never thought this day would come, honestly. Hands down, I never thought it would come. Um, I was like, yeah, Dead Space is done. It's over. We got three games, good riddance. And now we're getting a reboot. Just, it blows me away to see what people are making nowadays, you know? I mean, I heard about this like three months ago, and I was just like, it can't be possible, right? Dead Space reboots, like three, <laughs> like nine whole years later? It can't be possible. And uh, I'm shit at math, by the way, so don't take it by nine years, because it probably is wrong. But, you know... <laughs> I'm just skeptical about this type of shit because I don't know if the game's going to be good. I'm pretty sure there is a lot of pansies out there, man, just like who hated the first one because it was too horrible. But I really loved it, man. It's just like, I don't know, I, I really liked it. It it was good, in my opinion. In my personal opinion, it was really good. Um, a lot of people probably didn't like it because of how much gore was in it and they wasn't expecting that from a Dead Space game. Um, but entirely, it was like a new franchise, you know? I was, like, so... I don't know, I felt, I felt kind of like... It was a good way to start off the franchise, though, man. It's like... The horror, the horror was there, you know? Um, got my heart racing a lot. It pretended to be... Sorry, not pretended. It intended to be... I'm so sorry, I, I'm a bit tired. But it intended to be, like... It's own kind of franchise starting up. And then you got 2 and 3, which is like... They're not really hard driven you know? They're like, they, they kind of washed them out a bit after number 1. Because number 1 was too scary. And number 2 and 3 was just like insanely washed out from the first one, you know? Because of how many people said that the first one is like way beyond scary, you know? Like they couldn't finish it. They were shaking and stuff. I've, I've actually finished the first one. I finished the first one. I finished the second one. I never beat the third one, though, because I wasn't too bothered about it. Honestly. Um, I finished the first and second. Two really great games. And then the third one, I just kind of zoned out. Like, I wasn't... I wasn't particularly, like, invested in completing that one, you know? Whereas the first one and the second one really caught my attention. I feel like the third one didn't have the same attention span for me as the first and second because of how, like, watered down it was. Just from the first and second one. The watered down version is just like, I don't know, it feels like, it feels like they kind of tried to make it a bit so then it's not so scary. Which isn't a good thing for horror games. It's supposed to be as scary as possible, right? I mean, that's what Resident Evil does wrong, is that they made Resident Evil 7 Biohazard and then made, like, Village. And Village isn't even that scary, man. I mean, none of the stuff in Village really scares me. I could go through the entire game and not get jump scared and even jump at anything, you know? Whereas PT, on the other hand, and, like, Dead Space 1, you know? They're some scary shit. They have some scary shit in them games. But, like, it's it's like Resident Evil 7, for example. I could go through that game. I could get horrified by the family. But then, like, in Resident Evil 8 Village, when you're going into a castle and you see all these women, it's not that scary, you know? 
but because the family just looks like intimidated and stuff, it's like, it's like, holy shit, yo, I'm stuck in this house with these residents who want to kill me. It's like, I've got to run. <laughs> I've got to run and hide. But Resident Evil Village sort of changed that. It sort of butchered the scariness a little bit. And I hope they bring it back with Resident Evil 9. But yeah, I, I don't I don't know if they will, you know. Just uh, got to get some Resident Evil in here, right? Um, but yeah, honestly, Isaac is back. I'm so happy about it. Uh, I'll probably carry this on in another video because this is actually coming time to 20 minutes now, which is ridiculous for just like a speculation video. So yeah, I'll, I'll probably come back to this. I probably won't be as tired either. It depends how I'm filming it because, you know, it's like, what time is it? Yeah, it's close to 4 in the morning, so I just gotta, like, I'd be precautious, you know, about how this works out and stuff. But anyways, I love you guys a lot. Stay safe. Take it easy. If you want another part of this, let me know. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.